With Outlook 2013, you can manage complex calendars that interact with the schedules of multiple people in real time. Or you can keep to the basics. You create whatever calendar makes sense for you. In this course, we'll focus on using the calendar for business, but you can take what you learn here and apply it to any other use, such as scheduling personal time. Start by adding a new item, a new appointment, or a new meeting. The only difference is that a meeting includes other people. Since we're just starting out, let's keep it simple and add a new appointment. Click where you want to add the appointment, and then click the item. Type a subject and a location. An appointment can be anything you want it to be. In this case, we're just blocking out time to get some work done in the office. You can use the calendar like this to help you keep organized. This area shows the time you selected on the calendar, but you can change it if you want. Down here, you can add more details. Since you're the only one who will use the appointment, you can add whatever you want. Click Insert and Attach File. Then let's attach the PowerPoint file we'll be working on. There, the appointment is done. But let's add a few more options. In Show As, you can choose how you want others to view your time. This is useful if you share your calendar. We'll get into sharing later. For now, let's keep the default selection busy so that anyone who sees the entry will know you don't want to be interrupted at this time. Next, you can set a reminder. If you don't do anything, you'll get a reminder message 15 minutes before the start time. Let's change that to one hour. Finally, let's color code the appointment by adding a category. You don't have to do this, but it can be helpful if you have a very crowded schedule. I've added a few of my own categories. There, now we can quickly spot the times we set aside to work alone. When you're done, click Save and Close. There's the appointment. If you want to change the duration, select the appointment and drag the bottom border. Or you can drag the whole thing to move it to a different time and date. At one hour before the appointment start time, we get a reminder message. You can dismiss the reminder or click Snooze to be reminded again five minutes before the start. In the calendar, you can read the subject and maybe the location in some details, depending on how large an appointment is. But if you want to see more details, just hold the mouse over an item to get a peek. If you want to view or change options, right-click the item, or click it and use the Calendar Tools Appointment tab on the ribbon. If you want to edit the item, double-click it, make your changes, and then click Save and Close. One more thing you might want to do is print an appointment. Click the File tab on the item, then click Print. If you want to see how your appointment will look in print, view the Print Preview over here, and click Print. So now you have the basics for creating and viewing appointments. Up next, we'll get into more detail on how to change calendar views.